we are orca hunting. How the hell do you get down here? Oh yeah. Okay. Orcas. A big pot of orcas have been spotted off the top of Scotland and I'm in the right spot, believe it or not. Shit. Ugh. I'm okay, I just fell down a cliff. It's all good. Show goes on. Tell you what, I'm gonna give that joint one star. Okay. Look where we are, I'm in Scotland. <laughs> and I'm looking for some fish. <gasps> oh. I'm just loving this adventure. All right. I've got one and a half batteries left in my drone. Full battery, I get about 35 minutes. So, please God, let me see some walkers. Imagine filming them. Look at this. Look at the coastline. Hey, what a spot to take off from. People must swim down there. Okay, I'm just moving to a better spot. They're those big limestone rocks of Scotland. I'm right in the middle of it. Look. Just trying to get to the very edge of these rocks. Shit, this stuff's slippery. Wow, hey, just wow. Let's get the drone up, see if we can spot some walkers. Imagine that. Okay, no walkers, but I got some incredible footage of the um, amazing Scottish, Scottish coastline. So I'm just walking up this big hill. Love these boots, they're bloody awesome. They're the most comfortable boots I've ever worn. Normally you have to wear boots in, but these are good. Only got about half the battery left now. So here's the thing, right? When I was back in Australia, this lady contacted me from Scotland asking if I could wish her husband a happy birthday, which I did. And I actually 
actually FaceTimed him. And believe it or not, I'm about to meet him. He's in Scotland. He lives at the very tip of Scotland at John O'Groats. And he's about to come here in about two minutes time to say g'day to me. So pretty cool, huh? Just turned up. Jesus. Johnny! <laughs> Two years in the making. FaceTime him now, meeting him in the flesh. <laughs> How are ya? <laughs> Jeez, you're a big unit. How you going? How are you? <laughs> Good journey. Jesus, you're very Scottish. Well, but Irish. <laughs> Can I look at your bike? Jeez, it's good to meet you. I love this, you got a CBO. Yeah, yeah, oh. CBO. I thought you were this really old guy, but no. <laughs> so it's John, isn't it? Johnny, yeah. Johnny. Oh, mate, I love this color scheme on the CBO. Yeah, yeah. It's the best. Mate, what a what, what a magical day here. Oh, beautiful. Well, oh. touch and go. Yeah, here, yeah. Oh, I know, I know. I ride through the rain and then I... I, 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 I heard you pass in the house. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a bike at the front of the road for sale. I thought. Oh, did you see? I nearly stopped there. Yeah, that's another CVO, yeah. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw that. I made it here. Come in. I've, I've just ordered some food, mate. I've been on the go since about 7 a.m. My goodness. And, um, because I just wanted to make the most of the weather because I just got to keep pushing on, you know? I know. Yesterday I only did 50 kilometers before I woke up here. God, how weird. So, how long ago was it that I FaceTimed you from Melbourne? Well, it must be a couple of years ago. A couple it? of years ago. It must be. I had no idea. Why did I FaceTime you? I think it was my birthday and Hazel. Your birthday, Hazel. Who's Hazel? Hazel's my partner. Yep. She wanted uh, you to <gasps> yeah. send me a message or it something. It was nice but... of her to do that, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was outstanding. I can't stop eating the fish and chips. It's Is it Haddock? Haddock? Haddock, yes. Haddock or Haddock? Haddock. 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 How do you say it? Haddock. Haddock. <laughs> Haddock. Do you like it? I love Haddock. Yeah. What sort of fish is it? It's a swarmy one. It's a no, what? Uh, no, it's just a... Is it a haddock? It's a haddock. Yeah. Is the haddock the name of the fish though? Yeah, it is. So it's yeah. a haddock. Haddock. Yeah. So I could go fishing and I go, oh, I caught a haddock. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and then you could eat it. Oh, of course, yeah. So it's a good eating fish. Good eating fish. In Australia, we eat sharks. Yeah. No, that's true. It's, yeah, I believe it, yeah. It's called flake. Uh, Flake, yeah. I'm not. Are you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not lying to you. Yeah, yeah I believe you. It's believe true. It. Yeah. Google it. <laughs> Your nickname isn't William Wallace, is it? Yes. <laughs> John knows that I'm going to Ireland in about a week, and he's just given me some advice mm. for Ireland. What, what, what's the bit of advice? Don't talk politics or religion, and you'll do fine. <laughs> if I talked a little bit of religion, what would happen to me? Oh, they cut you into a tiny bits. <laughs> <laughs> He's not joking. Uh, no. Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. Are you packing heat? Not today. Not today. <laughs> okay, we just had something to eat with John. John, I've got to ask a question which everyone's dying to know. Why do they call it John O'Groats? I have not got a clue. Fuck, I come all this way. <laughs> That's what I come here for. You don't know. I have not got a clue. Fuck. Um, well, I'd love to ask some and, okay, one. okay, question. Why would anyone live at the very end of Scotland? Well, I've done it. So well, why do you live here? I think it's when the weather's good, the scenery's beautiful. Yeah, it's about to rain, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we'll, we'll go over. We're gonna, I'm gonna follow to, oh, fuck. This is just a rain clip. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, it's part of riding, isn't it? Now I'm gonna get your CVO dirty, mate. I don't mind, I don't mind. <laughs> Look at that, hey? Brings back memories. Look at that bad boy. Look how clean it is. Hey. So you love everything about it apart from the suspension? Apart from suspension, great. There we go, Harley Davidson, take note. <laughs> Again, another person. How much are these worth? 35,000 pounds? 35,000 pounds. 35,000 pounds and they got cheap shit suspension on them. They should do something about that. But this is a hot, hot looking color. 
Um, all right, John's gonna follow me out. I'll just get kitted up. I'll figure it out. So me and John were gonna take off and I was gonna film him, but it started pissing down, didn't it? Because we're in down, Scotland. Pissing down. I can't believe, mate. I'm Typical Scotland. Mate, why do you not know why it's called John? Is it John O'Groats? John O'Groats. John O'Groats, and you got no idea. Maybe it's called after me, John. John. <laughs> I didn't come all this way, mate, just to get a shit photo. Yeah. Sorry. I'll wait in line. <laughs> Only come 20,000 k for this photo. <laughs> Only come 20,000 k's to this photo. Right. Um, All the way from Australia. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck are these people doing? We've got all year, love. Just take your time. Like we want to get the photo done before the cops come and arrest me. <laughs> John will take care of business, though, won't you, John? Yes. You know, oh, no hey? problem. You know yeah. why? Because John's packing heat. <laughs> I'm just taking a photo, mate. Can get a photo? Hang on. One second. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here before the police come. <laughs> Follow me out a bit and then turn I'll around. Follow you out a bit. We'll stop. You just you, you just you let me know when you want to stop it and I'll say I'll goodbye to you. I'll take you in to the first petrol station, Danny. Okay, all right. What a lovely guy. He's gonna drive me to the first petrol station. Um, that's the tip of Scotland done. Now we're gonna go scenic way to Oblong. I forgot what he said, I don't know, but anyway. It's nice, it's a gorgeous day. Just gonna sign a jacket for Hazel. That certifies it. What an absolute nice guy, absolute gentleman. And just the fact that I FaceTime him two or three years ago from Geelong, where I come from, uh, at the tip of Scotland, and here I am at the tip of Scotland now, and I've just ridden with him, and we've just hung out and had a coffee. Um, for me, it makes it all worthwhile, and um, it just humbles me how many people my vlog touches. I don't say that. From a big-headed point of view, I just it just blows me away that everyone's going through something, um, no matter how they portray themselves to the world. And um, you know, motorbike riding is such a great outlet for men and women, but for men, it's such an important thing to do. So, anyway, let's go to I don't know where it is, but it's a long way away. Let's go.
Okay, I've just pulled up in this spot. It's gonna fly the drone. I've got bugger all battery left, but the bike's really shitting me. It keeps conking out. It's definitely electrical, so it's a real worry. Um, that bike's not right. Um, it's really annoying, really frustrating, and I'm scared it's gonna break down. I'm just gonna be trapped in limbo. That fucking come undone. Fuck. Oh well. It's leaking. Fucking piece of shit. Okay, more beautiful footage of the Scottish coast, but let's um, try and head to, I don't know the name of it, but it begins with UN, but um, my sat nav's going to be the shits, but I'm sure I'm going the wrong way, but it's all part of the fun. refueling again and this is where we are so we've just been to the tip here and we're going to go to Unapool so we've got to go along there and then we're going to come down this way back into England I'm actually quite a fair way away but anyway got to have the bike back in six days. All right, let's go.
got to have a break. I've been riding for about an hour and a half. <sighs> the road is so narrow that this is a cut through. We're basically cutting through east to west of Scotland. And um, I want to do the Appleby Pass or whatever. Oh, fuck, that's good. Just check out where I am, though. Beautiful Scotland! We're in Scotland! Braveheart! William Wallace! Ah, it's spectacular. Very, very pretty. What a day of just scenery and I think as you get older you appreciate just the beauty of our planet and just to see it in its all its glory. When I was a kid I didn't care but as I get older it's um it's quite amazing. Oh There's the accommodation and it's shut. I've got fuck all fuel and I've got nowhere to stay. I'm in trouble. Fuck, I need to find something, I'm gonna freeze a bit. Service station, how lucky am I? Okay, bad news, all the places are booked. I've been to four places, everything's booked. And um, I'm basically up Shit Creek. Um, the only thing I can do is ride to Inverness. Um, it's about 120 k's, fuck. Um, that's all I can do, I've got fuel. Um, it's gonna be cold anyway, that's all I can do. Can't even get something to eat, they're saying it's all booked, what bullshit. Uh, I'm getting shitty. Ah, oh, fucking hell. So many tourists here, it's unbelievable. I mean, I know I'm one of them, but... So I left Inverness this morning. I've done this great big circle of Scotland, basically.
said it's got a bunkhouse. I'm not staying in a bunkhouse. Let's go and check it out. I got a room. <laughs> Halfway between Inverness and Ula Pool or whatever it's called. So that's good. So um, anyway, let's get in the room. It's freezing. It's almost like a massive endorphin rush finding a room when you think you can't get one. And then you do. You're cold and wet. 12 hours on the bike today. Guy, it was like the guy felt guilty. He's like, oh, we don't have any single rooms, but we have a double room. He said, but it's a hundred pounds. Like they just put the price up for me. I was like, I'll take it. I don't care. Let's see what a hundred pounds gets you in the middle of nowhere. Oh my God, it's warm in here. Ah, fuck. Dude, this room is awesome. Is that for a view? 100 pounds. Oh, the bed looks awesome. TV. <laughs> I almost feel like crying because I've been so cold and it was so disheartening that Ula Pool, whatever it's called, Una Pool, had no rooms or no food. And then halfway, I'm right in the middle of Scotland, I've found this little sort of roadhouse place and I'm going to be able to have some food and get warm. This place is awesome! <laughs> we are living the fucking dream! That was intense. That was fucking intense. That riding was. God, okay, let's get sorted. Just seen me face for the first time. A bit dirty. I think I'll clean up before I go to dinner. The day's riding. I'm just gonna say the best thing I did for the trip was to buy that good wet weather gear. Um, it's all here. These boots, the socks, the gaiters, totally dry, in and out of rainstorms all day long, and getting the sun and getting the wet, but being dry, just a hundred times better. So um, I've learned a big lesson, but you know, the weather's always unpredictable. Look at this. Scotland. Scotland is vast. That is a fact. I've seen the vastness today. Shit, don't know where I'm wearing a t-shirt. Beast. Here we are. Dinner was pizza, was amazing. Oh, this room is so toasty. What a day. Oh, I tell you what, long haul motorbike riding, it's, it's pleasure and pain. It's, you're in pain, riding, cold, shoulders aching, legs aching, especially on a hardtail, bums aching. And then, it all ends and you end up near a heater. You know, your bones are chilled on the bike. Then you're in this hotel room, heater, shower, and you just have an endorphin rush. It's like, yeah, I did it. That's, that's what bike riding is for me. I know it's a bit weird, but anyway.